Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today I have something informative lined up for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe online cyber network, the double-edged swords of cyberspace. Alright guys, so you've probably heard the term hacking thrown around, usually conjuring images of shadowy figures in dimly lit rooms, furiously typing away to bring down global networks, right? Well today, we're gonna pull back the curtain a bit and talk about something that might surprise you. Not all tools associated with hacking are inherently illegal or malicious. In fact, many of them are absolutely essential for the good guys. The cybersecurity professionals, the network administrators, the people working tirelessly to keep our digital world safe and running smoothly. These are the tools they use to test defenses, find vulnerabilities before the bad guys do, and understand the complex web of data that surrounds us. But here's the kicker, and it's a pretty significant one. Just because a tool is legal and has legitimate uses, doesn't mean it can't be incredibly dangerous in the wrong hands. Think of it like a high-performance sports car, amazing when driven responsibly on a track, but potentially catastrophic if someone unqualified or with ill intent gets behind the wheel. The power these tools offer is immense, and with great power, as we all know, comes great responsibility. It's a fine line, and understanding that line is crucial in today's tech-driven society. So what are we actually talking about here? This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or encourage any illegal activities. Our goal is to inform and to make you aware. Today we're diving into five hacking tools that are legal, but can be very dangerous if misused. We'll explore what they do, why they're important for legitimate work, and how they can be twisted for purposes that are, shall we say, less than noble. So, buckle up, grab your thinking caps, because we're about to explore the fascinating and sometimes precarious world of cybersecurity tools. Wireshark, the network detective's magnifying glass. Wireshark is the ultimate network traffic snooper. It's like having a high-tech checkpoint that inspects every detail of data packets. Network administrators live and breathe this tool. Wireshark helps pinpoint issues whether it's a misconfigured device or a faulty cable. It allows them to see raw data and error messages. It's like being a digital detective solving network mysteries. Developers use Wireshark to debug and verify network communication. Educationally, Wireshark is a goldmine for understanding internet protocols. You can see the three-way handshake of a TCP connection or a DNS query resolving. But remember, if traffic isn't encrypted, it can be intercepted. Metasploit, the penetration tester's Swiss army knife. Next on our list is a name that often sends shivers down the spines of unprepared system administrators, Metasploit. This isn't just a single tool, it's an entire framework. Think of it as the ultimate Swiss army knife for penetration testers and security researchers. Its primary purpose is to help these professionals find, exploit, and validate vulnerabilities in systems and networks. It's a massive open source project now owned by Rapid7, and it's one of the most widely used tools in the cybersecurity industry for offensive security testing. Why is such a powerful exploitation tool legal and widely used by the good guys? Well, to catch a thief, you often need to think like one. Security professionals use Metasploit to simulate real-world attacks against their own systems. By doing this, they can identify weaknesses understand how an attacker might exploit them, and then crucially, implement fixes before a real attacker gets the chance. It's like a controlled demolition, but for finding security holes instead of bringing down buildings. You test the defenses to make them stronger. Metasploit comes packed with a vast database of known exploits for various software, operating systems, and applications. It also includes tools for creating custom exploits, payloads, the code that runs on the compromised system, and auxiliary modules for tasks like scanning and reconnaissance. This modularity and extensibility are what make it so incredibly powerful and versatile. You can tailor your simulated attacks to specific environments and test for a wide range of vulnerabilities, from old unpatched software to newly discovered zero days, though actual zero days are rare in the public framework. Imagine a company wants to ensure its new web application is secure before launching it to millions of users. They might hire a team of penetration testers, and those testers will almost certainly use Metasploit as part of their toolkit. They'll probe the application, 
looking for common vulnerabilities like SQL injection or cross-site scripting, and if they find a potential entry point, Metasploit can help them attempt to exploit it in a controlled manner. This proactive approach is vital for protecting user data and maintaining trust. The framework is also an invaluable learning tool for those wanting to understand offensive security techniques. Let's move on to Nmap, the network mapper. Nmap discovers what's on the network like a digital sonar. It maps live hosts, services, operating systems, and firewalls, essential for network inventory and management. Security pros use it for vulnerability scanning, identifying open ports and potential weaknesses. Nmap scripting engine automates networking tasks. It's a comprehensive network exploration suite, vital for network troubleshooting and diagnostics. Our fourth tool is a classic in the world of password recovery and auditing, John the Ripper, often just called John or JTR. This isn't a tool for bypassing login screens directly, but rather for cracking password hashes. When you set a password on most systems, it's not stored in plain text. Instead, it's converted into a cryptographic hash, a seemingly random string of characters. John the Ripper's job is to take these hashes and, through various methods, try to figure out the original password. System administrators and security auditors use John the Ripper for a very important, legitimate purpose, to audit the strength of passwords within their own organization. They can extract the password hashes from their systems, which requires appropriate privileges, of course, and then run John against them. If John manages to crack a lot of passwords quickly, it's a clear indication that users are choosing weak, easily guessable passwords. This allows admins to enforce stronger password policies and educate users on creating more secure credentials. John the Ripper is incredibly versatile in the types of hashes it can attack. It supports a huge number of hash formats, from traditional Unix crypt hashes to Windows LAN Manager and NTLM hashes, and even hashes from various applications and document formats. It's also highly customizable and can be run on multiple platforms. This flexibility makes it a go-to tool for security professionals who need to test password security across diverse environments. It's like a master locksmith who knows how to pick many different kinds of locks. The methods John uses to crack passwords are quite sophisticated. It employs dictionary attacks, where it tries words from extensive lists, dictionaries, and common variations of those words. It also uses brute force attacks, where it systematically tries every possible combination of characters. And perhaps most powerfully, it uses a hybrid approach, combining dictionary words with mangling rules, like adding numbers, symbols, or changing capitalization, to guess common password patterns. This makes it surprisingly effective against many common password choices. Last, but certainly not least on our list, is Aircrack Eng. Aircrack Eng is a suite of tools focused on Wi-Fi network security. It can monitor traffic, capture handshake packets, and crack WEP and WPA keys. For security professionals, it's essential for auditing Wi-Fi networks. This proactive testing helps identify and fix weaknesses. If Aircrack Eng cracks your password quickly, it's too weak. This is a practical way to self-audit your Wi-Fi security. So there you have it, folks. Five legal hacking tools that, while incredibly useful for cybersecurity professionals, network administrators and developers, can also be pretty darn dangerous if they fall into the wrong hands or are used with malicious intent. From Wireshark's deep dives into network traffic and Metasploit's exploitation capabilities, to Nmap's network mapping, John the Ripper's password cracking, and Aircracking's Wi-Fi wizardry, each of these tools highlights the dual nature of technology. They are powerful instruments, and like any instrument, their impact depends entirely on the skill, intent, and ethics of the person wielding them. The purpose of this video wasn't to teach you how to these tools for nefarious purposes. Absolutely not. It was to make you aware of their existence, their legitimate applications in defending and understanding our digital world and the potential risks they pose. Understanding these tools can help you better appreciate the importance of strong passwords, keeping your systems patched, using encryption like HTTPS, and being cautious on public Wi-Fi. It's all about building awareness so you can make more informed decisions about your own digital security and understand the landscape a little better. Remember, these tools are powerful and should be used responsibly. Always ensure you have explicit written permission before testing any network or system that you do not own. 
The world of cybersecurity is fascinating, and there's so much to learn, but it comes with a significant ethical responsibility. Stay curious, keep learning, but above all, stay safe and stay ethical. Thanks for watching and learning with me. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I value your feedback. Cyber Network.